We are now starting with peripheral nervous system that is PNS. We are done with central nervous system. So now next is peripheral and this includes all nerves. So now let us first talk about the various types of nerves, their classification and understand some basic structures so that when we take up the nerves which originate from brain and spinal cord, it would be easier for us to understand. We are classifying these nerves first on the basis of presence or absence of myelin sheath. Presence or absence of myelin sheath. This myelin sheath is the insulating membrane or layer which is present on exon. So on the basis of this, we have two types. If this myelin is there, we would call them myelinated nerves. And if this myelin is not there, then we would call them non-myelinated nerves. Conduction of impulse is faster on myelinated nerves. We'll see when we come to nerve impulse conduction. The second classification is based on the function. So on the basis of function. On the basis of function, they are divided as sensory nerves, sensory nerves and they are the ones which are going to take the impulse from sense organs, sense organs to CNS. So they are connected or they start from the sense organ and go up to CNS. Second category, motor nerves. Motor nerves are going to carry the message or impulse from CNS to that organ which has to respond to this sensory stimulus. And third, the nerves which can perform both the functions are known as mixed nerves. And mixed nerves can act as both sensory and motor. Now, we need to understand that it is the same neuron that we talked of. The neuron which has the cell body and the exon from the cell body are dendrites. Then when we were talking of neurons, we did not talk about different types of neurons. So the structure of neuron remains the same. Then how come the function is different? This is basically on the basis of their arrangement. We'll take that this part in detail again. But before that, let us talk about the third basis on which we are going to classify nerves. So this is on the basis of origin. That means from where are these nerves originating? We classify them as cranial nerves. Cranial nerves are the ones which originate from originate from brain and these are 12 pairs of cranial nerves. So 12 pairs of these cranial nerves and the second category the nerves which originate from spinal cord are known as spinal nerves. Spinal nerves they originate from spinal cord and there are 31 pairs of spinal nerves 31 pairs so these are the three ways in which we classify the nerves we will be talking about these two in detail first this one that is the function bias how are these nerves different and once we come to cranial and spinal nerves, then we will be able to understand which nerve is sensory, which nerve is motor and mixed. We said, and we are talking of this now. We, when we made the diagram of neuron, we made the cell body and a long process which is called exon. 
these smaller processes which are called dendrites their job or function is to collect the messages or stimulus from various parts so the direction in which the message is going to go is from outside to the cell body that means outside to inside exon is going to carry that impulse away from the cell body so this is how or this is the direction in which the impulse is going to travel i'm going to replace this structure with a simple structure say if i draw neurons like this this is the cell body and its exon this is another cell body and its exon cell body and its exon and let us make these small dendrites here in order to understand the direction if here is the sense organ and this is cns or central nervous system in which direction is this nerve fiber going to conduct the impulse these neurons are connected by synapse there are some junctional substructure which are called synapses we'll talk about that but the direction is the dendrites are going to collect it and bring it to the cyton exon is going to take it away from the cyton again dendrite is going to collect so the direction is going to be like this and if this chain of neurons is covered by a fibrous sheath suppose this is the fibrous sheath which is known as epineurium fibrous sheath then we start calling this structure as a nerve fiber so this actually is a nerve fiber or just nerve so what is the function or in which direction is this nerve carrying the message or impulse it is collected by dendrites dendrites pass it on to the cyton exon takes that impulse away from the cyton next neuron its dendrite are going to collect it exon is going to take it away so the direction of impulse is going to be like this so it is going to take the impulse from sense organ to cns so now can we call this nerve as sensory as our sensory nerve is the one which carries the stimulus from sense organ to cns so this is basically our sensory nerve if the same neurons are arranged in a reverse manner let us arrange them like this so this is cyton exon this is next neuron and its exon cyton and its exon again same thing the dendrites are going to collect and give it to so dendrites are going to collect give it to cell body exon is going to take it away dendrites are going to collect it exon is going to take it away that means the impulse is going to travel in this direction from sense cns to the organ and again if this is surrounded by a fibrous sheath then this becomes our motor nerve motor nerve so it is the same neuron only difference is the arrangement now what would be in a mixed nerve mixed nerve is capable of working as sensory as well as motor that means it has the neurons arranged in both the directions so one chain of neurons like this the direction is like sensory the other chain of neurons is like this which is going to act as motor so in this first chain which is exactly like sensory the stimulus is going to go in this direction and with the help of the other chain it is like motor it is going to go in this direction and if this chain or these chains are surrounded by the fibrous sheath that is epineurium then this becomes our mixed nerve so when we make the structure of neuron it is same 
only arrangement of neuron would decide the direction in which the impulse is going to travel. And that is how we have three types of nerves on the basis of their function. Dendrites collect this impulse, pass it on to cyton. Exon takes it from the cyton and takes it away from the cyton. So the direction is always going to be like this. So a chain of neurons surrounded by a fibrous sheath, which is known as epineurium, becomes a nerve. Nature of the nerve would depend on how those neurons are arranged. If they are capable of conducting the impulse from sense organ to CNS, we will call them sensory. From CNS to any organ or any tissue, then we would call it motor. And if a nerve has both the chains, one arranged like a sensory, other arranged like a motor, then this would become the mixed nerve because it can perform the function of sensory as well as motor. After understanding this, now when we come to cranial and spinal nerves, we will be able to understand which cranial nerve is sensory, which is motor and which one is mixed. So after this, now we will start with cranial nerves.